I get to beat people up again. This is how Denzel Washington announced the third film from the Equalizer franchise. Yes, his former Marine and Defense Intelligence agent Robert McCall is coming back for the third time and he'll make suffer every thug out there who'll stand in his way and try to hurt those who are helpless and have nobody to rely on. So stay with us and find out all the details for Equalizer 3. You took out the East Coast hub of the Russian Mafia. A man with his skill. I want to know who he really is. First, let's start with a recap of the previous two movies. Denzel Washington's Robert McCall character first appeared in 2014 when the first Equalizer movie was released, and it became a huge hit. The movie grossed over $192 million worldwide according to the box office, and it was more than enough to start an entire movie franchise. The story followed a former agent who has extraordinary skills but is living an ordinary life these days. Working as a shop employee, McCall is trying to run from the terrible things he has done in the past. This guy with a mysterious origin at first sight is not someone that will look like a guy that can beat up anyone, but he can do more than that. The movie is based on the 1980s TV show of the same name, and Denzel Washington managed to bring the story to the throne. I can easily say, and I hope that you'll agree to, that Washington, who'll soon turn 68, is the main culprit that this movie franchise became so successful and will manage to achieve its trilogy. Back to the story, as we said, McCall lives an ordinary life, and after work, he has a routine to go to a coffee shop where he relaxes from his daily obligations by reading a book. Here, he'll meet Terry, a young girl whose life took her to be a sex worker. They become friends and soon he'll find out that Terry is brutally harassed by the Russian Mafia members. McCall, who's a calm guy, first will give the thugs an option to choose and, as he says, to do the right thing. He'll try to buy the girl freedom from the Mafia, but when the deal falls through, he'll wipe out the thugs in the most brutal way. It's go time. They're going to war with me. Getting to know a guy with skills like these is hard to do in one movie, and that's why a sequel was released four years later in 2018. It was one of the most anticipated movies of that time, and that was once again proven by the numbers. The movie grossed almost the same amount as the first Equalizer and got some great ratings on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. And what's not to like? Another great action movie with lots of drama and a good story behind it. Our hero is on a triple mission this time. Working as a Lyft driver, McCall is helping an older person to recover a painting that was stolen from his family by the Nazis. He'll go to Istanbul to secure the release of the bookstore owner's daughter, who's been kidnapped by her Turkish father, and he's also helping a younger boy from his neighborhood to do the right things in life, become an artist instead of using drugs. But his life will be changed forever when he finds out that his close friend Susan has been killed in a hotel room in Belgium. Susan, who's also an agent, will fly there to investigate a mysterious murder-suicide of an agency affiliate and his wife. But instead of finding the truth, she will be killed by McCall's former colleague, Dave York. For McCall, this is a turning point in his life, but he would be very happy if you hit that like button below the video. No, really. He'll find a way to avenge his friend's death, and as usual, he'll deal with the bad guys once again. If you haven't watched the previous two movies, now is the right time to do it, as the third one is knocking on the doors. Believe me, you won't be disappointed at all. Now let's find the release date of Equalizer 3. The movie is marked as one of the top three priorities in Sony Pictures, alongside Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse, and Madame Web. Equalizer 3 has been announced as one of the movies in which working progress will go on a full speed. According to what has been revealed this summer, the movie is set to hit theaters on September 1st, 2023. Even though we have a whole year of waiting in front of us, I suppose it'll be worth it. And what about the cast crew for the third movie? Robert, I'm your only friend. It's great, you're helping all these random people and everything. But stay off the radar. Here, everything will stay under wraps. Only one name is officially announced to play a role alongside Denzel Washington, and that's the biggest surprise so far. I'll ask you immediately. Do you remember the little girl, Pita Ramos, from Man on Fire protected by John Creasy? If yes, then you probably remember that it was Dakota Fanning who was playing her. The actress's name has been announced recently to be joining Washington in the cast for the Equalizer 3 movie, and this is going to be their first reunion after a whole 18 years. Unfortunately, there's no information about what role Dakota will play in the movie, as there's still no information about any other names or returns from the previous movies. We can only presume that Miles Whitaker, portrayed by Ashton Sanders, the little boy that McCall was teaching, 
could reprise his role, and some leaks are saying that we could see more from Terry from the first movie. Both characters managed to survive, and it'll be easy to put them again in the cast crew as we can see much more from them. Maybe these two have now chosen the right path in their life, and we could see the positive change. Why not? Until now, only two actors reprised their roles in both movies, and it was Bill Pullman and Melissa Leo. Melissa's Susan was killed in the previous film, but I suppose we can see some cameo appearances from her, as she was a close friend to McCall. And about Pullman, forget about him, and smash the subscribe button and hit that ring bell below the video. No really, the information says that the actor could return once again. Last but not the least, here are the details about where the story will continue this time. The director's chair is once again reserved for Antoine Fuqua, and he'll be accompanied by Todd Black and Jason Blumenthal as producers for the movie. The most valuable thing is that Richard Wang, who wrote the script for Equalizer 2 and also adapted the screenplay for the 1980s show, has already finished the job for the third movie. Denzel Washington recently revealed that the script is done and he's already prepared to be in the best shape for the movie. I gotta get in shape and start beating people again. The Macbeth tragedy and then beating some people up can't get any better, right? Denzel said while promoting the movie for Macbeth, Antoine Fuqua also revealed some interesting details about the movie. In an interview with Jack Giro, he said, Yeah, I think that's the key to learning more about Robert McCall. Fuqua also revealed that the shooting will start in Italy and Sardinia, and Amalfi Coast are some of the destinations that have been scouted for now. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Call 911. We're trying to find some small villages, seaside villages, things like that, and then we'll be in Sicily and Naples, said the director. So, according to his words, we can presume that McCall will deal with the Italian mafia this time. The director also revealed that the movie will give more focus on Robert McCall's past and will have more emotional moments. This could bring a little less brutal scenario and the movie could answer many questions about Robert's past and origin. Our former agent will possibly face the mistakes and actions he did in the past. He probably will have to deal with his former colleagues and the things that they're doing nowadays. The biggest enigma right now is the role of Dakota Fanning in the movie. Some theories say that she could be the lost daughter of Robert McCall, or she'll portray Terry from the first movie. However, many questions will be answered when the filming for the movie starts this autumn. When the first trailer will be published, we'll probably have a better clue about the story. Until then, wait for a new video. Thanks for watching. Okay.